Hey guys, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. Today I'm going to show you how to update your drivers in Hive OS to the latest version. Now, I am using NVIDIA cards, so I am going to update this with NVIDIA drivers. But if you ever wanted to update your drivers or even roll them back to a previous version, I'm going to show you how that works. So, the idea behind this is that I'm going to be doing a part two video where I'm going to compare Ravencoin and Ethereum. But when I do that, I want to have the latest drivers so everything is uh, across the board for anybody who wants to use that. So I'm going to go ahead and hop over here and show you what we got going on. So this is the Million Dollar Ravencoin Mining Rig. I got behind me over here. Of course, I'll have a link in the description below. You can check that out. I am using the latest version of Hive OS. And typically when there's an update, it'll be up here and, and there'll be a little arrow to let you know there's an update. You can click on it. It'll give you the... Uh, the, the, the patch notes for what's being updated. Um, I went ahead and did that already. It's just a simple one click and it'll do it for you. It'll restart your miner. But the next section we're gonna work on is updating the drivers and that's just a little different. So first what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna click on settings and we're gonna let that load up. You know, I have to uh, gray all that out. It's got all of my information in there. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here to where it says maintenance mode, and we're gonna go ahead and click on that, and we're gonna load without drivers, or with, without loading drivers. So we're gonna click on that, and that was uh, updated. So we can go back to the top, and we're gonna go ahead and click uh, reboot. So we're gonna let that restart. Hive OS has been giving me trouble connecting with uh, with Hive OS. It's been giving me those errors, and then it'll it'll send through. So uh, I don't know. It's just been like that this morning. Uh, hasn't done that really, but once every great so often. So it's going to be rebooting now. I have that behind me. I don't know if you can see that. Go ahead, and it's uh, it's starting back up. Now what that's going to do, it's going to load um, up the uh, the miner, but it's going to stop at the point where it's going to want to do any drivers or any configs at that point. So what we're going to do, and I haven't done this before, this is my first time, so we're going to do this together. Um, now that we have that loaded up, uh, we are going to want to go to our shell in a box. So we're going to click up here, and we're going to go to Hive Shell Start, and we'll click on that. As you can see over here on the right, it's gonna start that up. It's just gonna take a quick second to get going. And then once that loads up, see, I got that error again. I don't know. Once that loads up then, we will click this link and here it is. So Hive Shell is active and we're gonna wait till this finishes. Yep, so that's up to the point we wanted it to be. It's loaded up uh, to the config. All right, so there we are. So it's loaded up. We're gonna click on Hive Shell. And that's just gonna take a second because it's gonna talk with uh, the miner back here and it's gonna bring up a screen for us. So, all right, so we have that up. And when this comes up, we go ahead and click on the link so once we click on that link, that will bring up the shell, and here it is. So what we see here on this screen is what I'm seeing back here on the, um, uh, the actual miner back here. It's just a duplication of it. So this is where you can start typing things in. So let's go ahead back up here, and I am going to have a link for this in the description below. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to go ahead and put in the... Uh, driver update in shell in the box so let's uh oh, where to go so here it is here so i am just going to go ahead and move this over so i can see it and we are going to type in nvidia dash driver dash update And hit enter all right now if you did this um, from the miner on that side it wouldn't show you the update happening on the bottom so 
Uh, you wouldn't know when it was, uh, or how far along it was going, or how fast it was going. If you do it in the shell, it uh, gives you the line on here. See, on this side, it just shows the, uh, the cursor. On this side, it's going to show us everything running over here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and move me out of the way so you can see that. So it is updating. So now it's uninstalling the previous versions. Now, while that's doing that, I'm going to bring this page back up because I wanted to show you this. Um, actually, uh, this one over here. <coughs> so, what we have going on over here is this is just the um, on Hive OS's page. So, you can go ahead and get that command right here. I will put a link in the description below to this page. So, you can just click on this. It has it right here. Now it does say that if you wanted to see the list of all available drivers, you can do this command right here, type that in instead. It's the NVIDIA-Driver-Update and then space-list and just hit enter and that will give you a list of the different drivers. There's a lot of different arguments out there about what drivers to use for unlocking the LHR with a lot of these cards. So. Um, like I said, I'm going to be doing a part two to this where I'm going to be com comparing. Uh, let's see how this is. So it's still working on that. And we're just going to let this run for a little bit. But I'm going to be doing a video on comparing those uh, uh, Ravencoin versus Ethereum. And like I said, there's a little argument on which drivers to be used on that. For that video, I'm just going to use the latest versions of Hive nvidia drivers and t-rex and we're going to try it there if it doesn't seem to be working or i'm not happy with the results i will try to roll back these drivers and try something else but so while that's going on uh let's go ahead and uh bring this one back up all right let's get that out of the way while i see this i haven't done this before so it's the first time i've ever seen this so i'm just wanting to see all the uh, all the goodies well I'll just put this one over here so in here if you want to uh, say update a driver or roll a driver back to a previous version what you'll do is you'll go ahead and uh, type in the same command we typed in before except you'll put in space dash dash list and that'll bring up a list of the different drivers that are available uh, in order to install one of those versions all you'll do is again Put in the same uh, uh, command that we did before, NVIDIA-Driver-Update, and then space, and the version that you want. Uh, in this example they show here, 455.38, you know, uh, there's different versions that people think are better for mining with these LHR cards, and I may test that out, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and just do the latest version. So we are successful on our update. So we will just uh, make that go away. Uh, I don't need the shell anymore. So we will leave that and we can close that. So what I have now is uh, to go to settings here again, scroll down and we want to disable maintenance mode. Um, because we uh, want to start this in our regular mode and um, again with the error for this thing it just takes a second I don't know why again why it's doing that it does it once or twice and then it goes straight through it's been doing it all morning so there it is successful so we'll just go back to the top and we're going to go ahead and click on the power and reboot so we're going to let that go through. We're going to let this reboot. When that one starts back up, we're going to go ahead and check the driver version on the bottom and see that we are updated. So, All right, so that's, uh, that's starting up right now. It's going through the uh, tuning on this side. Everything looks pretty good. We're just going to uh, refresh that. 
But the main thing that I wanted to show you here while that's starting back up is that if you look at the bottom, we now have the new version. Uh, we had the 460 earlier, now we have the 470. So again, if you want to do any of these changes, it is pretty straightforward. Uh, like I said, I will have links in the description below to all of these. So if you need to get those command lines, uh, you can grab them right off uh, HiveOS's page. And I hope this helped. So the next video, like I said, we're going to be comparing Ethereum and Ravencoin. And I hope I see you there. Thanks for watching.